Hello and welcome to Dappist ASMR. Today we will be opening up two pen pal letters and responding to them. My first one that I got was from Lisa. And inside was this little um, skeleton bookmark. Well, I clipped my nails today, so I have no tapping ability. And this beautiful Happy Halloween goodie bag and these beautiful washi tape samples. My favorite is this one. It kind of looks like a calendar that's been stamped over and over. It's really cute. Then on the back of it, I like butterflies and stuff. It's really cute. I really like that one. Then my next one is from Trisha. As usual, she sent me an absolutely beautiful axial. And this one is a little B. She decorated the letter. And then on this side, she added some decoration too. These were both sent out like October 20th, so pretty close to Halloween, but she sent me these beautiful, um, like, note cards that she stamped so that I could use them for other things, which I think is so cute. And there's quite a few of them there. Yeah. They're, like, all slightly different, which is always fun. And the next thing I got were these fabulous, like, ice cream stickers. I don't think I've ever seen, like, a Push Pop sticker or even an ice cream sandwich sticker. So I was really excited to see these two. Like, I just, I love them. Like, they're so awesome. So I have no nails. <laughs> and then she sent me her answer page. Which, that's so cute. That's so cute. And she sent me this little playlist, and it says cute. Cute. And she sent me this little goodie bag. Let's see what's inside it. Oh, those are lovely. Aww. I've never seen the top one. So, she sent me these beautiful washi tape samples, and quite a few of them have, like, gold foiling. That one, that one, that one. That one. And that has a silver foiling. This one says Happy Halloween. I've never seen that one before. I've seen dots and stars and Happy Halloweens, but never that one. And that's a beautiful spider rope, too. I don't think I've ever seen one so shiny. It's, like, really shiny washi tape samples. Beautiful. She sent me another one of these guys, just on a, I think it's probably coffee dyed paper, which is always fun to use for more antique tape petals. Okay, so I think she probably took either washi tape and cut them out, or maybe they're just stickers like this, but they each have individual little petals that if I had nails, I could do. And you peel them off, and then you can use, like, these little flower petals to decorate with. Those are cute. And then I got some Bad stickers. Bad stickers. I have to remember what direction I'm going to put this in. No ghosty boo. And then a cute little pumpkin. Actually, he's kind of spooky. And a little witch pumpkin. Who's cuter? And this goblin goop. And this pumpkin. Oop. What are these? Oh. <gasps> You're so precious. Look at these, look at these, look at these, look at these. They're so precious. They're like slightly puffy. And then, uh, like a scarecrow. I love scarecrows. Like randomly, I love scarecrows. That's fun. This is fun. That's fun. And that's fun. Oh, this is from Plants vs. Zombies, I think. But he's like a skeleton. That's cute. And then this one. That's so much fun. 
on. Okay. And this is the letter that Trisha sent me, and it says, Just a friendly little greeting to wish you happy trick or treating. I may be wrong, but I doubt it. That's cute. This whole just collaged letter. So cute. And then on the inside, there's this really metallic bat. With a little puffy bat. I love the little puffy bats. That is how she covered her mistakes, which is so clever. I wish I did that more. These pressed flowers and the date and a cute little thing. Oh, she's so creative. She's just super creative and I love it. I'm going to clean up and get myself for responding. And I'll be back to you in just a sec. Hey everyone, Dappest voiceover here. Today, I wanted to try something new about speeding the process up to make the letter a bit more palatable for everyone. I pre-wrote the letter and then now I'm just gathering up the stuff that I want to add into it. Um, most of these items come from this bag will self-destruct in one month bag. I decided to start a monthly thing where I gather up a bag of supplies that I normally wouldn't pick and I either have one month to use them or I have to either donate them or throw them away if they cannot be used by someone else. I think this is really just a good way to get some of the stuff that I've just been clogging up and have been in my stash for years. So I choose one, uh, like grocery bag size, and just kind of fill it up. And so just use these supplies, they're still good. Uh, for this particular letter, I had just a bunch of stickers that I put in with a note, with some extra one of those notes. I put in an eraser that had just been sitting around and a brand new hair scrunchie. I also decided to put in little positivity notes using these yellow sticky notes that I had. And we'll go through and start putting those in. I also used some string that I had lying around. So if you're interested in seeing my monthly bag of stuff, I would be happy to show you. This month I have like a full ball of yarn in it and the string that you'll see me pick up and play again throughout the letter, it's like this purple twine uh, that's kind of got almost a straw consistency and just it feels very odd. So if you have any ideas for that, please let me know. Here I'm just putting in a couple stickers and then after that, I'm going to be looking through a bag of envelopes that I have. These envelopes I have pre-made. I just, in my free time, mostly while watching ASMR videos, I like to collage envelopes out of junk mail that I have painted. And then I'll put different pictures and just collage really fun images on it. After that, I take the yellow sticky notes and I make spaces for the address labels. And that is about what I did for Lisa's. For Trisha, I first created a playlist for her and then I wrote the letter on the same paper as before. Then I grabbed more papers to give her so she could write her own letters with it and grabbed more stickers to give to her. I put everything in this pencil pouch because I thought it'd just be a cute way to load everything up along with an eraser, a friendship bracelet, an extra notebook, and even more stickers which is what I'm cutting out here. The stickers are cute and the friendship bracelet I actually got at a thrift store and I was just not sure what to do with it but I think she'll have a lot more use for it than I. The stickers that I have are mostly that I've gotten in swaps. I actually have duplicates of all of these. And I definitely have a problem with using up stickers I find that I'm just so worried about where to put them, if it'll be perfect, that I just find that I need to start using something or I'm just gonna hoard them forever. So I was like, these I have duplicates of, so I have to get rid of them. And that's how they all ended up in my bag. Here I am. Trying to clean up a little bit and I think I'm about to grab the foil or the tissue paper out. This is a really pretty gold tissue paper that I used to wrap up this gift similar to how I wrapped up the other one with string but this one I took the time to wrap it in this tissue paper because I found it and I hope that she really likes it. I used a little bit of the purple twine but 
I still have a ton of it left that I'm going to have to find something to do with. After I finish tying this up, I start to look for an envelope, which again, all I do for it is use junk mail. I make sure to have enough layers that the sides are thicker, but also to tape the edges really well, especially when I'm sending it, so that it is about as secure as it can be. I ended up using my biggest one for this, so I'll have to make some more bigger ones. And I hope you enjoyed this letter. I hope to see you real soon, and I hope that you know just how awesome and special you are. Bye!